through ruby ink in a certain way. That, that's planned? Yes. When I made this, I knew exactly how mm -hmm. I was going to do it. So I'm not paying much attention as far as getting everything off. I don't want everything off. You got to consider the ink that's on there uh, is going to be spread around. So it, you kind of get used to how much ink you need to put on, leave on, to get certain effects. This this particular print, um, I want to have quite a bit of ink in the sky because I want to manipulate the sky in a, in a bunch of different ways, and I'll show you. But I also want the the mountains to find. So each numbered print, you do, you re-ink it and do oh, this process yeah. yes. each time. Yes. I know that there's a lot of people that think you take a bunch of paper and you stack it up and you just go. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Yeah. It's so called multilib. That's why they're original. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> that's why prints are considered original art as opposed to the plate. The plate is not the original. The original is the print. The print. So it's not a copy. There's a different uh, way of thinking about it. Because a copy would be something on a litho press. Or now a lithographs can be done in multiples. Yes. Well, no. Depending on... No, not really. A lit, uh, well, if you're on a stone, it depends uh -huh. on... Yeah, how? You know, newspapers, magazines, that's all, that's all Lizzo, but, but there are also other kinds of, so, here's a couple of important things, he has a tie flying around, mm -hmm. that um, we want to make sure we have. So if each numbered print is 